have a number of treatment goals for IBD, and the first goal is actually clarifying the diagnosis. But once we know what the diagnosis may be or the pattern that's expressing itself, we want to induce remission. Now, the concept of remission means turning off the inflammation and returning a patient to feeling well and having an improved quality of life. In addition, achieving remission should be associated with normalization of any laboratory abnormalities, like being anemic, and restore growth and development and nutrition. So for those who haven't been growing or who lost weight or haven't gone through puberty on time, when we induce remission successfully, we want all that to get back on track. When we have successfully indu induced remission, and not before, we move on to the concept of maintenance of remission. Maintenance in inflammatory bowel disease acknowledges that these are chronic conditions that require chronic control. It has to do with keeping the disease under control and prevention of relapse. I want to just emphasize that point for everyone tonight. Prevention of relapse is what maintenance is about. Maintenance is not about taking medicine that is just suppressing your symptoms such that if you miss a dose, you have breakthrough or despite being on your medicine, you're having ongoing symptoms every other day. Maintenance, true maintenance of remission in IBD is supposed to be associated with stable disease control and should be associated with no corticosteroids, that means no prednisone or other steroids, and in the uh, newest strategies for maintaining remission, it should also change the natural course of the disease. What that means is it should not allow the disease to progress, and it should avoid or prevent complications. And the last goal that we think is quite important and we've spent more time on in the recent era is disease monitoring and prevention. And we'll talk a little more about that tonight, but it has to do with understanding how we can monitor a patient who has achieved remission to know when they're at risk for having a relapse or a flare, um, and understand what we can do to prevent that so that the patient doesn't suffer from it. So it would be wonderful if we could actually look in a crystal ball and understand when a patient's likely to flare, adjust the therapy or do something otherwise to prevent that flare and keep the patient healthy. It also has to do with monitoring therapies to make sure they're working and that patients aren't having side effects that are avoidable or adverse events. And it also has to do with enrolling in cancer prevention programs. Cancer and IBD is rare, and there are some strategies that have been designed that help prevent it, and we want to make sure patients are enrolled in those appropriate programs. We'll come back to that. 